All right, hello everybody. Coming into the video today, I did get two trades today. Only one recorded though, because the first one was in pre-market and I never hit the record button because I normally hit it about a minute before the bell rings, so I don't have a bunch of unused space. But I'm gonna show you both trades today in this video. Let's break it down, let's trade. All right, so my trade in pre-market was on today's crazy mover here in coin. Took it real, real small. One, because it was pre-market. Two, because it was moving huge and got out there on that drop before market opens for a plus $56 gain. Kind of wanted to get back into it once the market opened up just because this thing was so overdone. I, I looked at the news. It wasn't anything that crazy a, that I thought should be worth this kind of move and it did end up just crashing throughout the rest of the day right now it's down close to 90 so got a little bit of money there and got out in pre-market a rare trade there to start the day later on it was pacb pack b i was watching it here as it pushed up towards 710 i was looking for at least 6 610 and i was looking for at least 620 here as an entry on pack b it was nice and extended and this was fi finally the first kind of big faster candle that it was making on the day so I was looking to see if we get a little bit further up here and get up towards the 620s. There it's through 620. Just waiting a second here, see what it does. I click the button, get to fill there at 620. So 200 shares short here on pack B at 620, and we'll see what it wants to do. But several minutes goes by, and it's just slow. It's not moving, so I'm like, this thing might just keep grinding like it has the rest of the day. So initially, I put an order out here at 605 to cover all of them. If I could get it down there, I was like, that's not really asking too much. It should probably be able to get back down there, but... Then it just stuck here and stuck here and stuck here and it was not even moving. You can see there's barely even any volume coming in. So I'm looking at the level two and I see some orders starting to stack here around the 608, 609 range. So I'm like, eh, that could maybe be where this one's going to bounce. Maybe it's not going to quite get down to 605. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and cancel my order out here and then I'm going to watch it. And if I see it start coming, look like it's going to get some support here. I'm going to take it off. And that's what I do. I take it off right there at 609 for a $22 gain. This one ended up grinding up a bit higher and through the highs of the days for about 10 or 15 minutes after this. It kept going a little bit higher, just one tick at a time. And then it really dumped off. So unfortunately, right idea, just wrong timing on the trade there on Pack B. So that's going to be it for me today, up about $78. I'll take it brings me to green on the week so nothing crazy actually there was a ton of crazy moves out there today but a lot of them had whack volume or whack spreads or something i didn't like about it it was in a huge gap up or down so i avoided a bunch of trades today that i could have maybe taken but you know it is what it is so we'll move on to tomorrow hopefully end the week green i appreciate you guys being here shorter video today than the last two days saves me some editing i'll see you later